Greetings, Atomy members. I am Sharon Rose Master Jin Yong Hong. In these past two months, all the seminars and meetings hosted by the company were cancelled. I understand how frustrating it must have been for all of you. As I observed the coronavirus spread to more than 200 countries, I realized that this world is now a truly interconnected global organism. I was able to look back at our communities. As many have taken for granted the seminars and events which we had held so regularly, the total sales for industries all over the world in the first quarter has decreased tremendously. However, for online shopping, the sales has increased greatly. What do you think is the reason for this? The need for online shopping has increased consistently. As the world was exposed to the pandemic, a great influx of consumers, even in their 50s and 60s, were introduced to online shopping. After having experienced the convenience of online shopping, it will probably be difficult to go back to offline shopping. I'm sure that many of you have heard by now that Atomy sales have also increased by 40% in the first quarter. In the past, the model was an online to offline model. Let me explain this concept more clearly. In the past, consumers accessed the online platform in order to reserve and order products in an offline platform. However, in the near future, the online market will consist of an integrated model of both offline and online models. Through big data, appropriate products will be recommended to offline consumers. This will make the online platform a competitive model where consumers will be able to access the products both online and offline. With such a competitive edge, the demand for online services will only keep growing. And this is the result of such a trend. Currently, the online market takes up about 61% of the consumer's wallet. This phenomenon will only increase to 70% and 80%. Companies will not be able to ignore this consumer trend. If companies do not adapt to such a trend, they will not be able to survive during this time. In the past, it was just a single channel of consumption. We are currently in the middle of transition. Currently, businesses are competing through multi-channels of both online and offline. In the future, an age of omni-channel will come, where all data will be shared between online and offline platforms. The system is rapidly changing, where multinational companies all over the world are acquiring these omni-channels to ensure competitiveness. And you are able to see the results of such a trend. Major companies in the U.S. that only had offline channels are now closing doors. Since the introduction of Samsung smartphones, smartphone users all across the globe have been on the rise. The current 70% of smartphone users are expected to rise to 80% by 2022. Surprisingly, in Uganda, there are only 3 million people with electricity, but there are a total of 10 million smartphone users. It is these phono sapiens that are bringing the change in the distribution industry. It is this increase of consumers and smartphone users that is causing radical change within the same distribution platform. There is no future for a company that doesn't prioritize platforms. This is now common knowledge for everyone. However, there are now new wave of changes within these platforms. I'm sure many of you know this by now. How did distribution platforms in the past make profits? It was through commission incurred in the distribution process. But this profit model is also quickly changing. Online platform giants such as Naver Store and Cacao Store are receiving monthly subscription payments from businesses that want to register their business to these platforms. This is possible due to their large pool of users and data. Also, Cacao Store is receiving payments for advertising, which replaces commissions. Isn't this an amazing shift? Another shift is that there are now so many distribution channels. So, what does this change look like? Recently, I was also looking to buy a wireless mic. What eventually helped me to buy the mic? I was searching on YouTube for information. Where are consumers these days searching for information? It's in social media platforms such as YouTube and Instagram. 
What's the reason for this? In these platforms, consumers are able to experience storytelling, empathy, and other social values. Another reason why people are going to such platforms is because there are too many products out there. So curation service is more important than ever before. We live in an age where anyone can produce and distribute products. Price is no longer the deciding factor for consumption. These days, it is the shopping platform that has the most unique characteristics that will survive. For example, you know about Amazon's Prime service, right? In Amazon's Prime service, if you pay about $120 a year, you can watch all movies on that platform for free. You can receive free quick shipping. Consumers are able to enjoy all of Amazon's benefits. In Amazon's affiliate program, normal Amazon users can promote their products to other potential consumers. And if this leads to purchases, then the promoter will receive a commission of the sale. Recently, I came across a very interesting company. It's a Chinese company called Pinduoduo. This company uses a strategy where the price of the products on its website decreases as more and more buyers join the purchase via social media. Depending on the number of the buyers, the price of the product decreases. Within two years, this company became the second largest Chinese company. The company is even registered on the US NASDAQ stock market. Such changes in the distribution industry require the consumers to make a decision. And what is that? The consumer has the option to either remain as a passive consumer or the consumer can actively participate to make profit within the revolutionary changes that are happening in distribution. What is your decision? Ultimately, it's going to be these major companies with strong content creation and curation capabilities that will survive. However, other issues and problems arise due to such a monopoly. In the past, there were many travel agencies in your local community. Typically, consumers would go to the agency to reserve a plane ticket, hotels, and other travel packages. Today, profit is being concentrated on the platform of a few giant companies. The distribution industry is also the same. Today, more than half of the U.S.'s distribution is being eaten up by Amazon. Many people are losing their jobs because of this issue. Within this model, there is only one victor. It's the multinational company that owns the distribution platform. In this ecosystem, regular-sized companies and manufacturers can't compete. Even in such a change of the market trend, I was surprised by the values of an American outdoor brand, Patagonia. Even in the U.S., Patagonia is known to be a company that promotes the values of family and protecting the environment. There is not a single woman who has been fired due to maternity reasons. What do you think is the reason for this? The company claims that the CEO and the company can't be the end objective. One of the company's managerial objectives is that the workplace should be a means to ensure the family's survival. The company was able to truly touch the hearts of the consumers. Another surprising thing about this company was that it hosted an event on eBay where it sold second-hand clothes of their own brand. As you can see here, this is a picture of a person who is wearing a jacket which his father once wore 20 years ago. This company even tells the consumers not to buy new clothes from their company. Do you know what the reason is for all of this? The company claims that a lot of water is consumed to produce new clothes. In order to plant cotton plants, the company uses more water and great volumes of CO2 are released to produce their products. And ultimately, these clothes are thrown away as trash. By presenting relevant data, Patagonia constantly sends a message to the world that they are a company that strives to protect the family and the environment. Wouldn't consumers who care for the environment and consumers who care for the family hear this message? Wouldn't they love this company? I encountered stories of such companies that had social values, 
through a book called Good Company. This book introduces many companies that adhere to social values, and it calls these companies good companies. This book claims that in the end, good will always prevail. When I saw this statement, my heart started to race. There is also a similar principle in Atomy. Honesty and goodness is the best policy. I believe that this principle of the company shows that Atomy is also a company that adheres to social values. Why then must we pick Atomy as a company? If a CEO of a company is asked the following questions, why must the consumers pick your company? And if the CEO is not able to answer, can that company survive? I want to share with you at this time why it is that you must select Atomy as a company. In the previous platform models, all profit was concentrated on the company. No one could win in that ecosystem except the company itself. All the other players could not survive in this model. However, in Atomy's platform, the consumers act as the end user, being the terminal of the distribution channel. But at the same time, the consumers are able to make their own platform and act as a hub for the distribution channel. There is an important characteristic in Atomy's platform that the points incurred during the purchase are connected by all the consumers in the platform all over the world. The consumers in this platform are able to share their profits. President Han Gil Park knows all the important values and principles that are necessary for the post-platform business model. He said that Atomy is not competing with other network marketing companies. Instead, Atomy is competing with the previous distribution channels. I will get rid of all platforms where there are no point systems. Atomy will become the hub of distribution. In order for a platform to succeed, only one thing is essential. Consumers must be able to voluntarily access the platform with no advertisement. A platform that will survive will be the one that can tell others about the value and service of that platform voluntarily. President Han Gil Park knows about these core strategies very well. During the past 10 years, Atomy has kept to the major curation principles of absolute quality and absolute price. Atomy has introduced high-quality products at an affordable price to the consumers. As a result, Atomy has become a company that could act as a curator that is dependable. The 0.12% rate of product returns shows that Atomy has done a prolific job in product curation. The number is proof of such an outstanding feat. Since its founding from 10 years ago, Atomy has practiced the value of sharing. Atomy has consistently donated for the past 10 years. The company has donated $10 million up till 2018. In 2019, it was the first middle-sized company to ever donate $10 million in a single donation. You can also see that Atomy is concerned about the environment as well. Atomy spends over $100,000 extra dollars a month in order to exchange the plastic padding into paper material. What kind of company would do such a thing in such hard times? Atomy has been acknowledged for its social values and contributions to the overall community. It has acquired the CCM certification by being acknowledged by the government to be a company that focuses on the consumers. The CCM certification is a government certification program that reviews every two years whether the company's structure is designed to focus on the consumers and whether the designated structures are being managed accordingly. Out of 500,000 Korean companies, only 182 of them have this certification. Aren't you so proud? The consumers are aware of the company's activities, and they know the social values that Atomy stands for. Also, over the past 10 years, Atomy's members grew to 6.8 million. It will continue to grow in the future as well. Additionally, Atomy has constantly grown in the past 10 years. Atomy has achieved an unbelievable feat of $1 billion of sales in Korea 
and $1.5 billion of sales overseas. As you can see on the slide here, Atomy during the past 10 years has constantly experienced breakthrough and transformation. Initially, many people think of Atomy as merely a direct selling company. They think that this business is about selling products. It is unfortunate that such people think like that. However, today Atomy has about 400 products. In December of 2019, Atomy launched AZA Mall with over 20,000 products. After acquiring many products and many members, Atomy strives to become the hub for distribution. In 2019, Atomy has declared in the future it has decided to become a post-platform company. All of these books are talking about connection and sharing. We live in an age today where interests are interconnected. Something new does not come out of nothing. Rather, things that are already existing are connected with one another. Atomy has created this connection in the world. Connecting the consumer ecosystem in order to survive together. If Atomy keeps creating such connections, don't you think Atomy will be a $100 billion company for a hundred years? Do you believe this? We are living in an age where all the consumers in the world can be connected. Think about Atomy's future in five years to ten years. Think about your future within Atomy. Lastly, for those who are still not able to discern, I will conclude with a phrase from Spencer Johnson's Who Moved My Cheese? Remember that old beliefs do not lead you to new cheese. It is now time to lead the change. Change is no longer an option, rather it is necessary. I hope all of you will be able to overcome COVID-19 and I hope that all of you can become successful in this unprecedented time of change. Thank you for listening until the end.